I mean, I, I would say that uh, when I was thinking about uh, your podcast, you know, I think for me, I want to be clear that I, I think about soft robotics probably a little different than a lot of people you talk to. Um, for me, I think of it as, as um, rich contact and, and rich contact sensing, right? So, so for me, it's a lot of people I think are thinking about the fabrication side of soft robotics, which is hugely important. And uh, I, don't th- I, I don't mean to say in any way that it's not important. It's just that I don't work on that as much. For me, it's um, making really rich contact with the world. And, um, you know, there are some soft robots out there that are beautifully designed and then they still only touch the world at their end effector. And I think that's not the point. Come on, you need to like wrap around and, and hug everything uh, and understand the implications for, uh, for control and perception. Because a surprising amount of our understanding about how to program robots has been made where you kind of assume that you're touching the robot at the end effector. And uh, uh, if you think about basic core capabilities like impedance control or something like this. If, if you don't know where on the robot you're going to be touching, those tools need to be adapted, right? I think there are fundamental challenges, um, even at the simple level of like impedance control. But then if you want to control some underactuated object with rich contact all up and down your body, uh, this is just an open problem. And so those are the parts that really excite me is being able to touch all over the place and thinking about the implications for perception. I really like this point. Um, I don't know, for example, I think this is really, really really hard problem, but I don't know why do you think maybe at the community in soft robotics, we don't focus more on this point because it's it's challenging, do you believe? Or or maybe because I think also in your, in your blog, you'd say that in ac- academia, sometimes the solution is different. You know, when you work in academic problem, it's just different from real world applications. So do you think if you mention a real problem, it's really challenging? I mean, I think there's a natural course of these things. I think the one of the first things we had to do was was open up all these new avenues of fabrication and and to understand what they they could be um, good for. You know, what what actually works? What's reliable? Can we make a soft uh, energy source? Can we? You know, all these different things. These are awesome questions. And now, I mean, some people are definitely doing it already, but I think now is the time where the focus could also include the planning and control more. Now that we start have being able to fabricate some very interesting soft concepts, um, you know, now how do we control them? How do we embed sensors in them? And, and what sensors would enable us to really take advantage of this? I mean, we're changing the mechanics of contact, like in an important way. And, um, you know, I, I don't think we fully understood the right way to do that. How soft, how stiff should your robot be if you wanted to manipulate the things in the kitchen? What about the things in the garage? Is that a different answer, Um, right? Would you build a different robot? Uh, These are great questions.